I just need to take a deep breath because it has been a very hectic week here. We had a winter storm blow through, which, you know, in large parts of the country is not a big deal. However, in Tennessee, it basically shut everything down for the entire week. So last week, my kids were off school all week. My husband was working from home. And so I wasn't able to be in my normal routine. It felt fun at first, and then it started to gnaw away at me because I actually really love routines. I find routines are so helpful for the goals that you want to accomplish in life. Whether that is a financial routine around when you're getting paid, whether it's something like Transfer Tuesday, that's a routine where you use your extra money to get closer to big financial goals, whether it's a morning routine where you do all of the skincare and getting ready things that you need. Routines are actually something I worked on in a big way in 2023. And because I developed so many new healthy good routines in my life, when I'm off those routines, I feel chaotic and I just don't like it anymore. So yes, I need a deep breath or two. But I am here today because it's Transfer Tuesday and that's the day of the week where I share here on Pity's Not Perfection what money moves we're making to get to big financial goals. We are pursuing a lot of different goals. We are saving for retirement, for financial independence. We are saving for our next house. We are doing a lot of big things that can't be accomplished super quickly. So I use my weekly check-in, my weekly routine to make sure that I'm actually making some level of progress toward those goals, whether it's a small amount like $5 or it's a huge amount like a big bonus of $5,000. I'm making progress either way because I have that routine in my life. So I'm really thankful to be back into all of my routines, both Transfer Tuesday and all of my other routines. And thank goodness that the snow has finally melted. Like I said, it's Transfer Tuesday. So we're gonna be looking at two different goals today. The first one is, let's see, what is the first one? The first one is my Roth IRA. I am tracking my progress here on the channel for that. Someone did ask if my husband also has a Roth IRA, and yes, he does, but that is automated and set up that is a little bit differently from what I do with Transfer Tuesday, so it's not here on the channel. It's also his individual retirement account, and he didn't decide to be a YouTuber, I did. So I don't really share all of his business, but I did wanna answer that in the video because probably more than one of you has wondered why I only do mine on the channel. So yeah, he has his own retirement savings and that is going well for him. He's happy with his progress and he's on track. And this is my personal retirement savings. And it's something that I wanna track on the channel because I find also that women tend to not be investors as often as men. So I want women to see me doing that every single week, putting money in, dollar cost averaging my investments, buying my index funds every single week inside my Roth IRA. And also I sometimes do my other investment account as well. I have a taxable brokerage account. I love investing. I am on the path to financial independence because I am an investor. And so that's kind of part of the reason why I personally show my accounts and kind of share the progress that I'm making. So just wanted to share that. And I'm also gonna be looking at my house savings because one day eventually we're gonna buy another house. Who knows when that'll be. So let's look at the numbers right now. Hey, I just made some money. So that's exciting. Um, my Shopify thing is not silenced, whoopsie daisy. So we are going to be putting money into my Roth IRA, like I said, and so my primary investment in my Roth IRA is an index fund. I purchase VTSAX. I don't think I've ever actually shared what I purchased, but why not share it today? That is the primary investment in my Roth IRA. A Roth IRA is not an investment, it is an account type, and you have to actually purchase the investment inside that account. So today we're gonna to be buying some VTSAX and we are putting money in. Last week we had contributed for the year of 2024, $561 total. So in January we put in over $500, which is great. That's on track really to kind of hit our goal for the year. And then today I'm gonna to be putting in $123 and then that money will be invested into my little index fund pot and will be growing and growing and growing for future retirement Mary. Yay me. And that brings us up to a new balance contributed for the year of 2024 of $684. So I'm feeling really good about that. That's 9% of my total $7,000 funded for the year already. Like we're off to a really good start with that. I feel good about the Roth IRA progress there. So now let's look at the house savings 
uh, fund. <laughs> so we have been saving for a house for a couple of years now and we do have money set aside. But for 2024, I wanted to save $10,000 in addition to what we already have. So that's what we're working on today. And I do have several different transfers today. I have four different transfers, which is always exciting. None of them are outrageous amounts, but they do add up. That is kind of like my life financial philosophy. Amounts add up. Small amounts add up to bigger amounts. Big amounts add up to huge amounts. Whatever you can contribute, make that contribution. Put it toward your goals. Okay, so last week we had ended the week with $228.28 contributed to this 2024 house savings account. And we are now putting in four different transfers. So the first one was $14.56. That was an upside cash out earlier in the week, like right after I did the last transfer Tuesday. And then I did a secondary upside cash out for 2017 that went into my account this morning. So those two were both from Upside, which is the app I use when I purchase gas and my husband purchased gas. And then I also get like a couple cents every time someone I referred gets gas. So it kind of adds up over time. So I did have those two cash outs with that, which is fantastic with you. And then I had 2510 sitting in my Ibotta account and I cashed that out as well. I basically went through all of my accounts on any of my like cashback reward type like apps and cashed them all out. I was ready for money to go into this account. So those are the ones that I cashed out this week. And then I also had my regularly scheduled $50 go into this account as well because every single week from our budget, we have $50 going toward our house savings. And then everything above that is extra and wonderful, but we do have $50 go in. That left us with a new balance of $338.11. So we have 3% funded for this account and that feels, you know, not substantial, but we're on the right track. We are adding money every single week. We're on the routine and the routines are what is gonna get us to the goal. I, I firmly believe that routine will get us to our goal doing the reps over and over every single week, we are going to get to our goal of eventually buying another house and having a big down payment for that house because we are doing every single week the things that we need to do to make that happen. So those are the numbers. I feel really good about this week and I'm very happy to be back to normal videos, to being on my routine. Comment Club, if you watch this far, type down below routine. I love that you guys are part of my weekly routine, part of my weekly money routine. And I hope that you join me again next week as we do the same thing and make more progress toward our goals. Let me know if you did anything this week to get closer to your financial goals. I will see you guys next Tuesday. Bye guys. <laughs>